Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Karina Pittman. If you're new here, um, I've been vlogging lately. I've just been talking about my daily life, some business here and there, mindset here and there, a mix of everything. As of a couple days ago, it has been six months since I moved to Nashville. And I just want to talk about that really quick. Talk about taking a leap of faith. Not only is, I think, it's crucial in your 20s, and this is something that I've learned. 2022 was definitely a pivotal year for me because I went from not doing a lot of things and just focusing on business and work and making money to falling in love with life but then also f understanding myself and figuring myself out in my 20s. I never documented it on YouTube but I did leave the country for the first time. That was also my first solo trip and then after then it kind of just snowballed to where I was like I could put my hands on the wall if I want to not in that type of way but if i want to put my hands on the wall i can and i should take a leap of faith and not do what i've been doing and sitting here and think waiting for the right time because something i've learned is at the end of the day there is never a right time to do something sure there's right time right place or something that i'm learning is like you could delay it yourself you could be delaying the success or the future that you want because you are trying to take control so much of the present and being prepared for that future. So, I am wearing a, it's called a comfy, but I want to call it a snuggie, but it is a Vols comfy and I'm obsessed with it. I got it on Amazon, rep in tennis. I came back from my trip out of the country, went to Canada, whatever, it was amazing. Then I came home and then I had months and I thought about it and I just felt called to Tennessee years ago, but I was also like, 16 or 17 when I first went to Tennessee and it was for an event with my mom So I didn't even get to really explore it. I just was in downtown But I've always had this feeling in me and so I decided my second solo trip is to take myself to Nashville and I did that uh, January I Told my parents I said I'm going to Tennessee I did not tell them why. I just told them I was going to visit and take another solo trip because that's another thing is I didn't want to be held back by my parents and them having comfort in me being home. If I told my parents before, I think I probably wouldn't be here or if I probably would be here, but later in life. I don't think it would happen as soon or on my time that I wanted it to be. So. I took a solo trip to Nashville. I went to like 10 apartments in like four days. I tried to act like I lived here, so it wasn't like I was being a tourist and going to Broadway and doing all these touristy things. It was like, how would I be if I lived here? Would I be working at coffee shops? Would I be going to the store? And then traveling here and where are the areas? And all of that and so it got to the point of, I knew as soon as like before the plane landed, but I saw Tennessee, like in the plane window, I was like, yes. Like it just screamed yes to me. And then I started touring apartments and my mom caught me <laughs> touring apartments and she, she texted me and I was just like, cause we have each other and by my friends and I was just like, I'm in an apartment. And she thought I was just like with an apartment with some stranger and I was like, no, I'm touring. So I had to tell her over the phone and then it kind of, propelled that way it was like I obviously didn't want them to be disappointed but ultimately I'm 24 and I felt like it was my time I didn't have all my ducks in a row I didn't have I didn't really have much of a game plan other than I'm gonna come here I'm going to figure it out and I'm gonna figure that out along the way. It's scary to take a leap of faith. Like, don't get, don't get me wrong. It is terrifying to take a leap of faith, especially when you're taking a leap of faith um, monetarily. Um, I, forewarning, I'm not claiming you should do this. I'm not saying you should risk your life and risk your funds and all that stuff. This is just what I did. I have, I do social media marketing, and that's my primary income source. But obviously it's good to have a buffer i feel like um so it was kind of like back against the wall and moving on my own at that moment i wasn't gonna have much money to save um 
things are definitely different now financially so it doesn't matter but the point is is that if I just sat there and was like let me wait until I make X amount of money let me wait until I'm th in this my relationships this way now let me wait until my parents are this way or my family's going this way or whatever the case is I could be 26 27 years old and still living with my parents and I would not I don't accept that reality I have always believed like I will be out by 25 I don't care what I have to do I don't care what like period I don't care what I need to do and so I love it I it's been six months I've met the coolest people here I and the most interesting people. It's allowed me to grow and not only that, it's allowed me to really dig in myself a little bit more and see things that aren't as noticeable when you're at home with your family because I'm able to be my true self. Nobody's judging me. Maybe maybe my boyfriend's judging me, but like and my animals, but like nobody else is judging me. Nobody's thinking like why are you doing this? Why are you doing that? Or you shouldn't do this and like that's the whole thing is like parents and family like we love them and we care about them and even friends or even boyfriend and girlfriend it's like whenever there's outside people a lot of the times they will put their own perceptions onto you and sometimes it's hard to not take that and like remind yourself like this is what I care about this is what I want this is what I believe but when you're filled with a lot of perceptions coming at you at once or multiple times and you can't grow into your own shell, it's hard to do when you're with people that you literally grew up with. So, all this to say, if you are thinking about moving to a different city, if you're thinking about taking a solo trip, if you are thinking about moving out and you're feeling called to do something, no matter, I don't care what it is, do it. Every single time that I have taken a leap of faith on something, in the end, it has always worked out for me. Period. It may, like, as humans, we want to control everything and we want to know everything. But when I go through these situations in my life and occurrences, when I sit there and I just do it and I'm like, you know what, I don't care. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't care what's going to happen, but this is what's happening because this is what I feel like I'm supposed to be doing right now. It all works out in the end. Period. So that's it for today's video. If you enjoyed this or found this helpful, let me know down below. Let me know down below if there's anything, any state you want to go to. What is something that you feel like you should take a leap on? Let me know if we can chat about it. Um, make sure you follow my TikTok because I have been posting daily vlogs. And yeah, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe, like, and comment, and I'll see you soon.